welcome guys back to another video another exciting and amazing video in this video i'm going to show you how to make your photos look better and how to adjust their colors and i'm going to show you few steps that you can transform your photo from these to these and if you are eager to know how to do that how to make your photos your family photos and if you want to give them a delightful look and if you want me to feature your photos in my upcoming photoshop tutorials so just send them to my email which is in the description and i will feature and edit them in my next video so stay with me till the end of the video so let's get started guys And if you are new to this channel, I recommend you to watch my other useful videos because I've got tons of useful videos on my channel. So go ahead, watch them because they are really helpful and make sure to like, share with your friends and subscribe. I really appreciate that. So let's get started guys. So open your Photoshop panel and go to filter, camera raw filter. So here we're gonna play with the settings let's increase the whites and the shadows the highlights this photo need a bit of contrast and also just let's turn down the blacks and maybe a bit of exposure and just light the contrast again to this level maybe a bit of vibrance you can play with the texture clarity the haze you have to adjust it according to your wish and according to your photo however you want it to be and let's do a little bit more adjustments here until we don't feel it right so the highlight maybe a bit down And let's click OK and here I'm going to undo the effect by pressing Ctrl Z and I'm going to copy the layer and by selecting the copy layer the layer that we have copied press Alt plus Ctrl plus F in order to apply the effect again so I made a duplicate of the layer because I wanted my first layer to be the original one in case maybe I need it that's why let's go again to the camera raw filter and do some more adjustments so I'm going to play with the color mixer here I just want the leaves to have a warmer look so let's just play with the colors Let's switch before and after. Okay. I would like to have around here. And let's decrease this color a bit. maybe a little bit of sharpening here just for the eyes to stay in more focus and let's play with a split toning okay let's change the color to green and bring the saturation down and the balance and click ok Okay, let's see before and after. Uh, it's pretty nice, just need a little bit of more touch. And let's just copy the upper layer. Uh, again, go to camera raw filter.
And this time, let's play a bit with calibration. Okay. Let's You can basically slide to the right and the left until you don't get the right tone that you want. Maybe a little more adjustments here. And need to adjust the red color here. And again, let's see the before and after. So we can see a slight difference. And then hit again OK. It's applied. So let's just compare it with the original one. We can see a slight difference. We can also reduce the, the opacity and let's just make a group of these layers hold ctrl and select and press ctrl g to make group and then once you have made group and then press ctrl e to merge the photos or the group again ctrl j to duplicate the layer and then we will duplicate another layer and then we'll go to camera filter again we will do some adjustments here with the uh, spot removal yeah once once you've clicked and then just press just click on the area that is clean and then when the second circle pops up just select on the area that you want to remove on the spot so you can basically play with that it's, it's not a difficult task at all i'm gonna go a bit faster here Okay, let's press OK and see how does it look. It's quite good, but I think we need a little bit of more retouch here. So I'm gonna go and use the spot removal once again, I think so. Let me have a look first. Yeah, we've got some areas that needs to be retouched. So... I'm going to go with this spot removal again. I'm going to be faster again here. Okay. Let's have a look. For me, I think this much retouch is enough. And if you want to do more, you can you can do it. And here I think I need to fix the eyes because it is having too much of teal color so i guess the eyes should be white beside the pupil so i'm gonna duplicate this layer and again go to camera filter and again i will do a little bit of adjustments just because of the eyes so i'm going to color mixer here go to say i'm going to saturation luminate uh, saturation and i'm gonna desaturate the aquas so here i'm going to go a bit faster and uh, the main point here was just to reduce the vibrance and the vibrant color in the eye and we have done that so i'm gonna just adjust a bit more uh, color on the skin
and here the layer that we have just applied the effects copy 3 we will bring it down under the copy 2 and we will move the copy 2 up on the copy 3 and and then we will apply mask here on the upper layer and then once we have done that then we will grab the brush tool by pressing B and we will try to apply on the white areas of the eye because we want to get rid of this teal or aqua color so it's a bit better but again we need to remove a little bit more okay let's remove a little bit of this color here and let's compare it with the original one it seems pretty nice to me and I'm happy with this select all layers except the original and I'll press ctrl G to make a group and then control J duplicate the group and then control E to merge so that's it guys thank you for watching as I have said if you want me to feature your photos in my upcoming tutorials and send them back to you so just send me your photos to my email that is in the description and I will send it back to you if you have liked this tutorial so give a thumbs up a like share and subscribe thank you for watching